G'day and welcome back to the channel. Remember that deadline I was talking about? I got some doors. Well, not quite, kind of. They're door skins. They were cheap, I grabbed them. Saves me a ton of work. I was gonna make my doors anyway, and um, we're most of the way there with these. Doors are the right size. Um, I did measure them against an original door which you had. All the profiles are right, so it's got the nice curve in it there. It's got the curve that way, and um, it's got the swage in the right spot. Hey, why don't we put the whole tub together? Just mop it up, let's do that. Look at that, it's my Model A assembly kit. Check it out. Right now, that's just one very sloppy jalopy. But that's cool, I love it. What I've got to do now is really make up my subframe so we can have this thing mounted to something, get the correct dimensions, the correct shape. We can start um, cleaning these panels up, knocking the dents out. Because we're going gloss black with this. It's not going to be the most perfect job, but I still want it to look good. So subframe on the body next, and we'll go from there. Well, here I am sitting in hospital after having some fairly major spinal surgery. Um, I knew it was coming and that was my deadline, trying to get my car finished. So I had something cool to play with once that all happened, but uh, I didn't meet it because the surgery happened a lot quicker than I expected. And it was obviously a lot more serious than I expected. So I had one day's notice and um, yeah, so here I am, screeching halt. Ah, but while I'm here, it's time to play What's for Lunch? But before I do, my buddy next door to me here has been fasting all day and he's just gone in for surgery. He's having the same surgery as me and um, you have to fast. And uh, I was giving him a bit of a hard time at lunchtime. Check it out. Check it out. Yum. I don't want to rub it in, mate, but that was probably one of the best lunches I've had in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Again. Definitely try the chicken. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I, I thought, no, I've got to say something. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I think I've said something wrong this day. He's still in the air. He said, have you got any, any special diet? I said, no, not really. I said, well, I'll, so I'll, I'm basically a carnivore, so if you bring me a plate full of vegetables, I probably won't be happy. Yeah, yeah. He said, no, no, I don't need either. She laughed. And then he brought it in. It was vegetable stew, boiled veggies, and, yeah. and, a, and, a, and a vegetable soup. Yeah, she got the last laugh, mate. Nice. Look at that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, tomorrow's your day, mate. So she's a pretty flash hospital list. It's kind of very five starish carpet on the floors. And I've got my own little laptop. I can watch telly, I can watch YouTube. I can order my meals from it. But see this channel here? See that button there? You need to hit that button. That'd be really cool. So I've just demolished dinner and I should hopefully be out of here in the next day or so. So I will see you back in the shed. Well, I just got home and no sooner have I put my bag down that I've uh, wandered into the shed. I can't help myself. Um, I'll show you where I'm at. And um, I really wanted this finished before I went in for surgery and that was my deadline. And unfortunately I didn't make it, but I got my subframe in. That's all pretty much done. It's, uh, it is kind of welded to the body, and um, so the body needs to come off and the bottom of the subframe welded up. But she's all in there good, and um, yeah. So that's where we're kind of at. So the question for me is, what do I do now? Without getting bored. So the p doctor's orders are, um, for the next three weeks, I can't really do anything apart from some basic... Um, exercises which the physio gave me and then after three weeks I can start going to the pool and then um, at the six week point I go back to the neurosurgeon then he puts me on a plan so maybe after the six weeks we'll see I might be able to get back into some blacksmithing 
and just get my hands moving again because um, I get frustrated if I'm not doing stuff. So there's only so many movies I can watch without getting bored. But YouTube's going to get a workout. Um, Netflix is going to get a workout. And hopefully this little blacksmith shed's going to get a workout once I can. Anyway, I don't know yet. We'll have to see how I heal up. But I'm strong. We'll see what happens. So, yeah. So what I'm thinking of doing... I might get some working bees and um, see if we can at least get it all the body finished and um, just bolted together, probably not painted. Um, it's going to be a bit tight financially now though and I've got these door skins. So one of the things I was thinking of doing is um, welding this door skin on this side, just as a solid door on this side. Um, instead of using the door skin, you can see I put that brace in lower, is putting like a cutout like they used to do so you could step into it. And having a step which i've got an idea how to do that and at least get it on the road make it um because all the mechanical part of it's pretty much done it's going to drive um so just leave it patinaed for now maybe and when i'm up to it and i can put in the uh, elbow grease i'll sand it all back and paint it properly but at least have it on the road still got to do fenders and stuff as well which will be a pain in the butt so i don't know Hey, I just got home from hospital and I'm fairly well medicated, so I'm thinking out loud. But I just wanted to show you where I'm at, what's going on with the project. I dare say there's going to be the brakes on it for now. Um, and if I can get some mates to come and help me, it's hard when you've got to rely on your mates. But at least I've got the Valiant to play with. But yeah, kind of disappointing, but I've still got it and it'll get finished. And I'm motivated to get better. Not only to finish this off, but get back to work. So yeah, it's a cool old car. And it will be on the road soon. So that's pretty much it for now. We're going to be putting this on hold. And if I can uh, get some work done to it, I'll film it. And uh, we'll stick in another episode. And when I'm better, obviously, we're going to kick right back into finishing this guy off. Because if you know my channel, you know how motivated I am. I do get things done. And um, I love this thing. I've had a ball making it so far. Building it to a theme certainly been a lot more fun than just... Um, not that it's not fun, but... Just knocking something together, but building it to a theme is quite enjoyable. And I kind of, I'm not a restorer, but I kind of get why restorers do what they do, making things um, as correct as possible. So, yeah, she's going to be cool. And uh, it's not over. But anyway, I'll leave you with that. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I need to sit down, probably lay down. I might put a movie on, make some lunch, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.